an elephant in a room for 24 hours. This could get awkward. We're roomies now. The elephant in the room. Something that is obvious, but no one wants to mention. The elephant in the room is very obvious in this picture. Like that pot definitely isn't clean. But what is it like to actually be with an elephant in the room? I'm literally holding about 10 kilos of <laughs> Is it awkward? Is it funny? Dinner time! And why is no one talking about it? Just a morning floss then. So, I thought I'd find out for myself. This is the story of how I flew 7,000 kilometers to live with an actual elephant in an actual room. But what I wasn't planning on is the camera for the tigers is being joined by some other guests. It's highly likely to be a tiger. So, you find me in New Delhi airport at 1.15 in the morning. This is weird. I don't know what it's gonna be like to live with an elephant for 24 hours. Hope she's very accommodating of her new roommate. Oh my God, they were roommates. I'm really going to this quite blind, so I don't really know what to expect, if I'm brutally honest, but that's the beauty of the channel. I actually haven't told you who I will be bunky with for 24 hours. This is Tara. She was born into captivity to be a begging elephant in India in the 1970s, but she was rescued by Belinda Wright and her family in 1989 and was rehomed on their farm, Kipling Camp, where she's now just a lady of leisure. She goes for her daily walks, has baths, and eats 300 kilos of food every day. This is one meal. Tara is 70, so she's an older woman. And she will flirt, she loves men. Amazing. All right, Max, don't get too excited. Kipling is located in the middle of the jungle, and so after two flights and three hours of driving... Your car says racer, Drigash. Are you a racer? <laughs> Doesn't matter. ...on less than optimum roads. It's quite hard to sleep. I'd finally arrived. I think we're here. Thank you very much. How are you? Fine, thank you. After being greeted by the goodest of welcome parties I could have ever hoped for... <laughs> Hello! We made our way into camp to meet Belinda. Belinda, how are you? I'm exhausted. I'm literally walking to go and meet Tara for the first time. And for this timer to begin. 24 hours with an elephant in the room. Other than that, I really have absolutely no expectation of what I'm about to get myself in for. But hopefully by the end, she'll warm to me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this all feels a bit real. How heavy is she? I guess you shouldn't ask a woman her weight. Hey. Hello. Oh my god. Look at the size of her. She sounded like to you guys. It was a slightly awkward first meeting, but Tara has allowed me into her room, which is a good start. But I was determined that Tara and I would become firm friends over the next 24 hours. And so I wanted to make a good first impression. We all know that the best way to anyone's heart is through their stomach, and Tara has a massive stomach. This is one meal? Okay. <laughs> Dinner time. This is enormous. Just like this? <laughs> this is the size of three steering wheels. <laughs> okay, this, will, this is going to take you a while to eat, isn't it? Got air conditioning. Now, of course, I'll be spending the full 24 hours with Tara. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sleeping next to her, cooking for her, and cleaning up her crap. And despite wanting to stay in the room for the entire day, that wouldn't be very nice for Tara. She has a strict routine that she likes to stick to. Instead, wherever Tara goes, I go. And after her food, Tara normally goes for a walk. Now this part of the world has the highest percentage of wild tigers anywhere on the globe. And they regularly walk right into camp. When we had the, the guest, they, they saw two tigers. They saw two tigers? So they come close to camp? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With that in mind, I was a bit nervous for our walk. We trekked through the jungle for hours, which I'm sure was just a short stroll for Tara. But it wasn't long before we got another reminder that we weren't out here alone. These are the camera traps for the, the, the tigers. How often do you, do you see, like, tigers? Every couple of days. Every couple of days? Yeah. They just, they, so they walk down this track? 
Luckily I have the biggest thing in the animal kingdom to look after me. Although I don't think she seems that fussed about looking after me. Is that nice? After a long day of traipsing through the jungle, we finally arrived back home, and it was time to prepare for my first night alone with Tara. So while Tara was tucking into her final ginormous meal of the day, Belinda pulled me aside for a safety chat. There were alarm calls while you were with Tara, just on the other side of the road. There were cheetah deer calling and monkeys. It's highly likely to be a tiger. <laughs> I hope you don't mind sleeping there. Does, does that mean? Does that mean they have seen a tiger, or they? Yes, have yes. Seen... No, they will have seen a big cat. Now I was here to spend 24 hours with an elephant in the room, and I'd be damned if the threat of being eaten by a tiger was going to get in the way of that. Pops all over me. She's just scoffing her face. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is so. This is my roommate. She's a very conscientious roommate though. She's quite quiet, considering she's enormous. So after a quick good night and a less than ideally placed bedtime wee, I'm literally about to go to bed, Tara. It was time for both of us to catch some shut eye. Hi, I'm gonna get a bed. It's in the corner. And hopefully I don't get eaten by time. Bright and early in the morning, it was now time for the slightly less glamorous side of being Tara's roommate. I'm literally holding about 10 kilos of shit. Tara's not the best at cleaning up after herself, so the first job of the day for her roommate is cleaning up her crap from the night before. And there was a lot of it. A lot of shit done. You happy? And in that is the 20 kilos of rice that she eats. Alright, breakfast time. More? Right. Morning. Six o'clock. It was an interesting evening. There was a lot of monkey calling last night, which was <laughs> a bit scary. But she seems pretty chilled about the whole thing, which is good. I've been up since about four doing her breakfast. Taking out the, uh, the excrement from the night before. And yeah, my final few hours with Tara. Just a morning floss then. I was right to have been a bit nervous last night as I was called to see Belinda, who had something to show me. That was about 20 metres from my room. An enormous tiger. And he wasn't coming for tea. It's so scary to know that there actually was a tiger. They noticed. So they would have noticed me there? Yes, definitely. Definitely. But it's not, you know, it's not harmful. I think it's a privilege. It absolutely is. I mean, yes. when you're sleeping outside, it's both a pri privilege and absolutely terrifying. <laughs> My time with Tara was coming to an end, and I thought we'd been getting on pretty well, when she wasn't trying to hit me with leaves. But the big test to find out whether she'd accepted me as a roommate would come at bath time. Right, it's Tara's favourite time of the day, when she can go swimming. It's a lake where she goes swimming, and the big test is whether Tara invites you to go swimming with her. That's when you kind of know that you have you know, made a good impression. She's chewing it on, she's having some wood right now. Chew it, go on. <laughs> Jesus, Tara. Right. Tara's bath time is very much for her, and she's quite particular about it. I also need to remember that she is a wild animal and they need to be respected. So it's for the people that live with Tara every day to check that she's comfortable enough for me to join her. <laughs> Belinda and everyone at Kipling has done so much incredible work to make sure that the populations of tigers and elephants are safe, but destruction of habitat is still a huge problem. 
we do awareness amongst the villagers you know, because some of the villagers suffer terribly. There's nowhere else for them to go and they get aggressive. It's hard to imagine Tara being anything but a giant puppy and getting to spend 24 hours with this elephant in the room was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. Now, time for a swim. You, are you getting in? Can I go in? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had this video idea because I thought it would be silly, silly to the max, but I've realized how important wildlife is. <laughs> this isn't, this isn't awkward at all. <laughs> one of the greatest experiences of my life. Tara is nothing but kind, intelligent and diligent on her cuticle care and I wish every day that there could be an elephant in the room. As it's time for Tara's lunchtime, I thought I would address the elephant in the room. Thank you. Yeah, it's in there. Thank you. My t-shirt. The 21st of October 2022 at 5 p.m. What's that all about? Well, it's the launch of a new company that I'm starting called The Silly Company. And what it is, is that every month there's going to be a new product that gets dropped and they're inherently very silly. Now, what's special is there's only going to be 100 items of each product each month. And this month, the first ever item on The Silly Company is my very own Cubits glasses. I've worn these glasses in videos for the last three or four years and amazingly I now have my own line with them. They've got red temples and they've got something silly written on the inside. They're absolutely awesome. Come on. And they go live at 5pm on the 21st of October. So get them before they're all gone. <laughs>